good morning. This is Greg Donahoe with Heartland Honda Power Sports and Marine in Springdale, Arkansas. It's July, the end of July 2022. We're going to go over a brand new Manitou we just got in today uh, for you guys to check out. A little bit about Heartland Honda Power Sports and Marine. We're a local family owned dealership. We've been in business since 1996. We have a full service department with red level certified technicians. We have a lot of enthusiasts here that are very passionate about what they do, very good at what they do, and we're very proud of what we can do for you. No further ado, let's get into this boat. We've got a uh, two, tw 23 Manitou Aurora LE VP in the uh, red and black. Um, it's a beautiful boat. We just got this in. If you come on around here, you can see the um, LED driving lights and the anchoring nav lights um, on the side, the beautiful Manitou logo. Um, this is where you fill the gas at. It does have a 43 gallon fuel cell on it. Um, you've got a huge swim deck on the back here. Um, you've also got the cleats for tying it down on the docks and what have you. Um, if you come around here to the business end here, we've got a Honda 150. Now this is one of the new Honda BF150 IST motors. They just announced it last fall. Um, they just came out with this. So this is an IST, Intelligent Shift Technology, basically throttle by wire. Very smooth, very dependable, very reliable, very quiet, very efficient. One of the best motors on the market for a pontoon boat, bar none. Um, to come around here, you got the stainless steel telescoping swim ladder that goes down all the way into the water, makes it really easy to get in and out of the water back onto the boat. And then when you're done, you can just slide it back in, put it back up for tow, and you're good to go. Um, you come back around the other side, and you just see the complement to the other side of the boat with the beautiful color combination, the Manitou logo. Um, it's just a great looking boat. Um, come on around here and we're going to climb up on this and we're going to go take a look inside the boat and see what we've got. So bear with us as we climb up here. Be careful camera person. All right, and you can see we'll come up here. And this is the RF layout, which is rear facing couches front and rear so it maximizes the capacity it's kind of like a suv of boats provides the most seating capacity the most room to roam around um, it's a very spacious boat very good layout um, tons and tons of storage under all the seats here you've got a lot of dry storage here you can fit a ton of toys fun of towels just whatever you need um, tons and tons of storage and then you can see one of the speakers for the sound system You've got more storage under this side. We've got the portable cup holders, which these are cool. These can go anywhere you want for additional cup holders. They're made to just slide in. They literally can go anywhere you want. Um, there's two sets of these for four cups. All your owner's manual and all your manuals are in that. More storage under this seat. The storage on these boats is just unbelievable. Um, if you come under this side, this is the changing station or privacy enclosure station. You flip this open and then this will fold out all the way somehow. <laughs> Gotta unsnap it. <coughs> Gotta do it the right way. this up and then if you need to change put a different uh, swimming suit on or for whatever reason you've got a complete privacy enclosed changing station here and then it goes back in and all folds nicely and neatly back under there out of the way um, when we come up here with a couple things we got going on we do have the center end tube storage. This is a huge amount of storage for skis, life jackets, anything you want. Um, we've got the mooring cover with the uh, poles in there right now. It goes all the way under there. There is a light for this as well. Somewhere over here. Uh, not sure where the light is for it, but there's a light in there. Um, there's also a bilge in there in case you do get water. So very safe and very handy and very convenient if you come under here under the helm you can see another ton of storage clean layout for all the electronics and the graphs and the radio just a very clean setup for the electronics 
and you got a lot more storage under there. What's going on, James? Um, and you can see on these speakers, if you get those, it's got the uh, blue LED lights on the Fusion stereo and the speakers. So at night, this thing really glows. The Bimini also has LED lights in it. You can't see that right now because we don't have it open. But that Bimini will come up here and it'll cover half this boat to protect you from the sun and give you a nice shade if it's really hot out. Um, come on over here. Let's look at the helm. Come behind me here. First thing we got, we got a telescoping Italian Goosey wheel, which is really nice. And it telescopes all the way up and down so you can really fit your your driver you got the fusion bluetooth stereo it's got two zones front and rear um, it's got great sound to it you can bluetooth to it as well um, it's just a phenomenal system you've also got a 12 volt charging plug here for additional charging and two usb ports if you need to charge your phone or your tablet or anything else um, all your dash up here um, you've got the garmin uh, 73 sv graph that's very cool it's got charts sonar active captain the gauges um, you can have the numbers running um, you can run sonar it will have we're inside so it's not going to show you the bottom of the showroom floor but it's got really really good stuff and then you can do combos um, which is what I like to run like a nav combo with a sonar combo if you're looking for structure or if you're on a, a lake that you're not familiar with this Garmin is really cool um, I have one on my personal boat and I just love it you can set waypoints you can track routes so you can get back in dark if you need to um, one of my favorite combos is this it's got all the lakes on it too so when you when you're on the water you can dial it in it'll tell you right where you are it'll leave breadcrumbs showing you the tra track you took so you can come back it's going to give you water temperature depth time of day how fast you're going complete uh navig navionics uh ability for the captain to control where they're doing what's going on and just know everything um, you do have nav lights which that's going to be at night what you've got to run you'll have your red and your green on the front and the white on the back and then for the anchoring side of it you'll just have the white on the back if you're just at night anchored not moving um, you also have these accessory lights here um, and this one turns on the uh, fusion speaker lights you've got docking lights so if you're coming up those are the led docking lights you don't want to run those at night they're illegal but for coming up to a dock or your boat slip or whatever at night they really help there's two led lights that are very bright you've got the horn right here get out of the way i'm coming they're gonna hear you um, and then you've got the honda ist setup over here which is really really smooth um, it's just a great setup. If you've never driven a Honda <laughs> IST, uh, you will never want to drive one without it once you do. You've also got the built-in, um, th there's the light for the in-floor storage, and then you have a bilge pump for the transom and the in-floor, um, and those are always hot in case water got in there. Um, these seats do swivel, they recline, the armrests go up and down, both the driver and the passenger have that. You have another cup holder over here for the passenger. You also have a side entry door for another way to get on and off of the boat. It's really nice, really easy. You come on to the back, you've got two more sets of cup holders. As you can see, we're not missing a lot of cup holders. There's plenty of places to put cup holders or cups. Um, you've got your removable table tray here, and it does swivel either way you want to go. That base removes out of the floor really easy, and you can store it under there if you don't want anything in the way. Um, another cool thing is this has got a back head unit so your passengers can take control of the radio. I know if you like my family, I like different kind of music than my kids. So sometimes we let the kids take over the radio. Sometimes mom and dad have the radio. But it's a nice setup that's really easy to use. And then it's coming to hidden storage on both of these couches. If you lift this up here, look at the access in there. And the other side's identical to it. You can fit a ton of stuff in there. And then, of course, you've got storage under here as well. Um, you got more storage under the back one. So tons and tons of storage on this boat, as we've mentioned multiple times already. Um, the back side's identical to it, except we've got some uh, battery stuff going on over here, which is really cool. This has the dual battery smart switch from Manitou. We've got a dual battery setup, so you're gonna be running two batteries. Um, and it's really cool. You just turn it on or off when you turn it off It kills all the power. So even if you left the radio on the lights on the graph on wouldn't matter It's gonna kill your powder 
uh, and save your batteries. Um, and running a dual system allows you to run the radio and different lights and stuff while you're anchored or just you know floating out there and you're not gonna run your batteries completely down. Another nice setup on this boat is the um, onboard charging system, which you kind of see it, I think it's on this side. It's right here, onboard charging system. And what you do is you just run the uh, 110 outlet to this socket right there. So when you're you know, in your garage or in your slip or whatever, plug your boat in and then that's gonna keep your, your uh, charge going all the time. You've got the LED lights and all your cup holders back here that looks really cool. Um, you've also got your rear access gate to get to the back of the boat. Um, you do have your ski tow bar here. This is equipped with pull tubes, wakeboards, skis, whatever you want to do. Um, we've also installed the fuel water separator. If you don't have one of those on there, you will want one. Helps keep all the water out or condensation out of getting any water into your engine. Um, that's a comprehensive overview. Can't take this one out on the lake today because it's supposed to rain. But uh, we just got this boat in here at Heartland Honda Power Sports Marine in Springdale, Arkansas. You can check it out check it out online at our website at heartlandhonda.com certainly can come see us in person at 824 south 48th street in springdale uh, call us come by we'd love to help you we love what we do and we'd love to help you enjoy a boat like this for you and your family thanks for watching